Oh yeah. Here's a little tip. Before you take the last bolt out. Before you take the last bolt out, you want to just make, you just want to crack it loose and then get the cover to come off enough to just drain the oil. Uh, that will save you a bunch of time and, and clean up and misery. You do not want to get 90 weight gear oil in your hair, on your skin, and on your clothes. If you get it on your clothes, you might just throw those clothes away because you'll never get the smell out. <sighs> Fun fact, no one yell. When I was 15 years old, I bought my first car. I'll, I'll make this story short. I had a 1964 Chevy Bel Air with a three-speed on the tree. And before I got my driver's license, I went through three transmissions. I got really good at swapping out three speeds. But the first time we did it, I had a friend, my best friend at the time, Eric, was helping me pull this transmission. Neither one of us had ever done it before. And we didn't bother to drain the oil out of the transmission before we pulled the drive shaft off. And my friend Eric, God bless him, He's laying underneath the truck, or underneath the car, excuse me. He's laying underneath the car. He's got, I got the the uh, differential side of the the drive shaft unhooked. And he's got the, the yoke in his hand. And we both pull the thing out at the same time. And he proceeds to dump about a quart of 90 weight gear oil in his hair. Needless to say, that was the first and last time Eric ever helped me on a project. So you can hear in the background that oil is starting to drip out. So I'm just going to crack that one last bolt loose. If you have a magnetic base and a dial indicator, it's a good idea to check the backlash while you got the cover off. If for no other reason, then just make sure that you got the same backlash when you put it all back together. Well, this is at uh, what? Eight thousandths. All right, next you gotta take these caps off, off the uh, carrier bearing. I guess the, uh, the ring ring gear carrier bearing caps. Those need to come out. Take the carrier out. First I'm gonna get this off my gloves so I can get it all over my dial indicator. laid them down just like they came out and I'm gonna mark these and make so they make I make sure that they go back in the same spot they came in There you have it. That's where you need to be to replace the seals. One seal is over here, the other seal is over here. And they need to be driven in from the inside. So, I need to make a trip down to uh, O'Reilly's and get a couple of seals. And then I need to figure out how the heck I'm going to drive the old ones out and get the new ones in. So I got an inch and a half socket. I mean it almost fits that perfectly. And I use this to, to beat out the, the seals. Now, went to O'Reilly's last night and here's a seal. K2 
came in this box. Came in this box. Here's the new seals. Um, yeah. About the same it was before I started, so that's good. I didn't gain, I didn't lose. All right. Next on the agenda, I clean that uh, gasket surface up. Um, some people just use silicone. I'm gonna actually use a gasket. I find that works better. And uh, put the axles back in, and uh, you know, put the uh, the wheels back together. And, steering link and everything I just noticed that my my steering stabilizer is crushed might have to get a new one of those before we go on our trip or not all in all it wasn't that difficult I don't know what I was so intimidated by it's just one of those things you don't know until you get into it and once you do it that's no big deal but you know if you're if this seems like too much to take on, then take it to a mechanic or find somebody that you know that's a buddy or something that can do this for you, or at least help you with it. But, you know, I'm only guess that uh, uh, if you were to take this to a shop, it'd probably cost you somewhere in the neighborhood of anywhere between $500 and $1,000 just to replace the seals. It's a half a day job. And uh, at uh, $85 to $100 an hour, and depending on the honesty of the mechanic, um, this is one of the reasons why I do my own work, because I've yet to find an honest mechanic in Las Vegas. But I do know a couple. But uh, get this thing back together. Well, there you go. Fresh coat of paint on the differential cover. Four and a half pints of uh, 80, 90 gear oil and uh, a couple of cotter keys on the steering link two oil seals dos what is it uh, so i'm into it for about 40 bucks and about uh, five and a half hours uh, over the course of three days so yeah this is what it is 
I uh, hope this video was informative. I hope it was helpful. If it wasn't, I'm sorry I wasted your time. So, if you haven't done so yet, go down there in the subscribe button, click on subscribe, and uh, hammer away at the keyboard and, and comment if you're so inclined. Keep your comments clean, or I'll hit you with a band stick. And until next time, have fun, be safe, shoot straight, and you have yourself a splendid day. Till next time, bye.